Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Yankee Candle Haul. I have never done a Yankee Candle Haul before. This is my very first one. I think I've only purchased at Yankee just a couple times in my life. Um, I've never been a huge Yankee Candle fan. It's always been Bath & Body Works for me. So this is new and different and I really need your help and suggestions down in the comment box below about which ones I should try and which ones I should avoid and so on and so forth for the future. Um, so the only reason why I made this purchase is because of that candle glitch that's now like was two or three weeks ago or something. Um, and so I figured that would be the best time. It was like um, a clearance candle or a sale candle for $14. It was a buy one, get one free candle sale and you could use it on that candle to buy for 14 bucks and get a full price one for free. So I took advantage of it. I did it when the Tutti Frutti was sold out. So I did it when it was, what I think, like Country Linen. I don't know. We'll find out. It's in one of these boxes. Um, so I bought five of that one and then got five free. And then when they came, I returned four of the Country Linen or whatever it is. And I kept one because I didn't want to return them all without at least trying one of them. So you'll see that in one of these one of these boxes. Um, but I got two boxes, so ten candles total. One of them I don't have with me because it's burning up in my kitchen, and um, I'll just tell you what it is, and we'll, you know, go from there. If you see my hands moving down here, it's because I got a little kitty on my lap. He's sitting here being a snuggly guy, and he might freak out once the candles start getting pulled out, but in the meantime, he wants to talk and be a little snuggly guy. He's been like this all day. So, um, yeah, the first candle that I don't have to show you is Pink Sands. Um, that one, I guess, had really good ratings. I kind of picked candles off the website that, um, had, I don't know, really good ratings or like four or more stars. And then, um, I tried to read the reviews of those ones too to see if they liked the scent of it or if it was strong because I like strong candles. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of how I picked these ones out. So I picked out Pink Sands because obviously it was like a fan favorite. A lot of people said they really liked it. Honestly, it's not the strongest candle and it's taking forever each time to pull out. I don't know if that's a signature Yankee candle um, thing or if it's just the specific candle that I have. But um, it's taking a really long, to pull, really long time to pull out. And then the scent isn't the strongest, but it does have a really good throw in my opinion. So I don't know if that's even worth doing a review on because I think it's a candle that's been out for a really long time and obviously it's a fan favorite. So I don't think you need my review to like, you know, vouch for that candle's scent appeal and all that. So whatever. I wanted you to at least know that that one I, I have and um, it's just not with me right now. I did get some like random coupon things and like a free gift. Oh, geez. This only goes to March 13th, so if I want to use this, I need to use it fast. Uh, it says free gift with um, your choice of any item up to $15 with a $15 purchase. I don't even, I, I don't know if I even want to use this. I think my free gift, if anything, would I'd want to use it on like um, one of those Illumilids. I don't know. Do you guys need an Illumilid in order to burn Yankee Candles successfully? Let me know down below because I've seen a lot of people using them and I don't want to have to buy that in order to burn a candle. It just seems so high maintenance. All right, so anyway, beside Pink Sands, I got a Country Linen, which I already said, and they don't have um, descriptions, so I really am going to struggle with telling you how these ones smell. I thought this one, would, because it's Country Linen and it kind of has like a really tacky looking, actually, this like bedroom scene reminds me of my grandparents' house, like their guest bedroom where I would stay when I stayed over at their houses, which I have fond memories of, so, you know, can't say anything bad about that. It just reminds me of, like, I don't know, an older-looking bedroom. So I thought this was going to be a laundry scent, and it kind of is. It's, I don't know, it smells like laundry detergent, but not, like, just regular like white cotton laundry detergent. It's like a different, like a mountain fresh or something like that. And it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. I mean, it's a good scent. It's just not one I would buy a ton of. I would want to burn this on a day I was cleaning my house 
and like had the windows open but then this I don't think this is strong enough to have the windows open so I think maybe I'd have to burn it one a day that I'm cleaning and it would make me feel like I had the windows open I don't know tell me what you guys think of country linen if you've ever had it um the next one that I have <laughs> is going back it's the Girl Scout one I've done a review on it um I did burn it again after um, that huge mushroom top that I don't know if you guys um, saw that video but um, I burned it again and this is where it ended up it's still kind of like created its own little like strange mushroom top again um, it pulled out well it burned really slowly and I think I can kind of see like where it stopped down here where the pool stopped I was just getting absolutely no scent from it and I was really disappointed and shocked because of how big that mushroom top was during that last burn. Um, I tried this in my kitchen to my living room and I got nothing so I tried it in my bedroom and I still got nothing. I barely get a scent on cold. I mean I can smell it like I can tell it's a scented candle but I don't know. I don't know if it's this wax. Let's see if my camera will focus. It's that smooth wax. I don't know if it's that or what, but it just doesn't have a good scent throw. You want to smell it, E.B.? No, he doesn't care. And the scent itself is good, so I don't know a lot about, like, batches and stuff, but this is a 2016, um, so if you can get, like, a 2015, I would maybe suggest that. I don't know if by the time they, it's 2016, they just decided to, like, mass produce it at a crappy, you know, like, amount of, uh, oil. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, this was a dud for me. I'm going to exchange it. And I need a good recommendation for one that I should exchange it for. I think, um, I had a subscriber that said that chocolate layer cake would be a good one. So that is my front runner. I'm probably going to, if I, and if I have to exchange any of these other ones, that will definitely be one. I smelled it in store and it smelled good. I just didn't know if it was going to be strong. Okay, next one I picked out was Vanilla Lime. This one ooh, is so good. Yeah. This reminds me of a lime popsicle or like lime candy. Mmm. Kind of like the, the vanilla and it makes it creamy like key lime pie or uh, lime yogurt. But it's like a little too limey and tart to be like that key lime yogurt. It doesn't have like the key lime, classic key lime scent. It's It kind of reminds me of this, like lime shaved ice. It smells good. I don't know. You guys got to tell me. If you like see any of these candles and you've had a personal experience with it, let me know. Some of the candles there had like a ton of wax kind of surrounded where it looked like it was going to do really well. And then some of them looked kind of like dried up and not so great. So I'm kind of curious. Looks like there's quite a bit down in that corner. And the sales associate at the store guarantee me that that doesn't mean anything. But I don't know. If you can see a whole bunch of oil more than the other ones, I would think it would be stronger. I mean, that feels like common sense to me. But maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, we're moving on to the other box. So that had four and this one has six. Well, that one only had three because my pink sands is gone. Next one I got is Vineyard. And a lot of people really liked this in the reviews and that's why I got it. But this smells like grape jelly beans to me. Has anyone else had this and it smells like... You know what? They have a candle that smells like jelly beans, which smells like... I guess a variation, like a big cluster of jelly beans if you were to smell a bag of them. This one specifically smells like grape jelly beans. And I was hoping it was going to smell like a grape vineyard, and maybe it will change when it's burning. Let me know, again, if you've had a personal experience with this and it has changed. I mean, it's really pretty dark wax. Not that I really care about the color of the wax. It could be white. I wouldn't care. But this smells like grape jelly beans. It's very candy-like to me, which is fine if it was, like, titled grape jelly beans, but it's not. It's vineyard, so I'm thinking it's going to be, like, a nice, rich, like, realistic grape scent. Or, like, winey, wine-type scent. Uh, next one is... Where are you? Whoa, it felt like it kind of shook. Ne the next one is Cherry Lemonade, and this smells, like, divine. That picture 
looks so summery and delicious, it like makes my mouth water. That's a really good picture. Oh man. Bath and Body Works should like take note. That's a really cute picture that just like makes you want this candle. Plus mixed with the color of the wax. Oh my god, this is so good. I really hope this burns well. This smells so good. I need to burn this soon because if if I need to exchange any of these other candles from like them not burning well or having no scent thrill, I would want to exchange them for more of this. This smells like cherry pink lemonade. Oh man. It's really good. This is my favorite one I've smelled so far. This might be my favorite one in the whole order. I, I, I don't know. This smells so good. Oh, that, one's, that one's yummy. All right, and then we have Sweet Strawberry. I feel like I've heard that this is like a realistic scented, like people say this Yankee does a good strawberry scent. And it does smell like strawberries. It doesn't smell like fresh strawberries to me because um, I don't feel like they have that much of a scent. I mean, kind of, but... To me, it smells more like, um, like if you were to go to like an ice, like a Dairy Queen or Culver's or some kind of restaurant where they have like the strawberry syrup. It smells like the like soggy strawberries that you get mixed in that syrup that they like put on your ice cream sundae or something like that. That's what this smells like, and it it's kind of like that artificially scented strawberry but I mean it smells really good it's weird because it smells realistic like it's not like I don't know how to explain it it smells realistic of strawberry but that's but also like that syrup but that syrup ha is artificial obviously it's not like I don't know you know they have preservatives in it and stuff so it doesn't go bad but this smells <laughs> smells really good I mean, obviously I like it, or I wouldn't have bought it. So that is Sweet Strawberry. And then I have Fresh Cut Roses. Um, I got this for my mom, because she likes the scent of roses. And so do I. They remind me of something, like maybe it was a hair product when I was younger. But, or maybe it was just, maybe it's just like, reminiscent of all the times that I've gotten roses as gifts in my life. Reminds you of ex-boyfriends on Valentine's Day. I don't know why I showed you that. That's weird. Um, yeah, this smells really good. Um, it just smells like you're walking into a flower shop. It's pretty realistic. I like it. That one's for my mom. I'm hoping it's strong. She's going to report back to me about it. And what the heck's going on here? And, um, I may want to get um, an, myself one of those if she says it's strong. Next one I got is Turquoise Sky. And, you know, they have a lot of these, like, tropical type, watery, clean scents, like, cologne scents and all that stuff. I like that picture. Um, this one of all of them, I was kind of like, ooh, yeah, I want that one. You know, because they all smell good, but you're like, yeah, they all kind of smell the same. I don't know what it was about this one. And even now, I'm like, eh, it smells like all of them. But this one, maybe this one was stronger than the rest of those, and so that's why it stuck out to me. Let me kind of show you, like, how much do you, can you see this? Like, that light color is the regular color, but, like, then it's going to suddenly get dark with all that oil. I picked this one out on purpose. I'm hoping I did a good job with that. That'd be awesome if that one was strong. Yeah, I don't know how to explain that one. It's kind of like... manly scented ocean water. Like a oceany, watery man scent. Definitely ocean and not like lake water or like rainforest or anything like that. And then the last one that I got is Lemon Lavender. And this one had really good reviews. I like lemon. I like lavender. I like them together. I like the idea of them together. And this is like fresh and clean. Like the first thing that hits me is that lavender scent. But then I, I smell lemon and it's almost like cleaning lemon 
which some people wouldn't like. So if you don't like that, you're probably not going to like this because it's very stringent. But then there's something sweet about it at the very end. Like candy-like. So it goes from like lavender, lemon, and then candy. And I heard this one is a really popular one, not just from like online reviews, but like people that I've um, like spoken to and whatever, written to and so on through social media. And so a lot of people really liked this one. Um, the sales associate also said that she or her friend always comes in to whatever, comes into that location and buys it for their, like, I don't know, her mom or someone. And that, you know, like her best friend always comes in quite frequently to purchase that candle for another family member that really, really likes it. So yeah, anyway, that's my entire Yankee haul. I feel like I wasn't really looking at the camera the whole time because I was like thinking about what the candles smell like and I can't really do that as I'm like looking at myself at the camera. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up this video if it was, I don't know, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, let me know what you think of these candles. Also, let me know what your suggestions would be for a candle that you think I'd like. I like strong candles. I like strong candles and I like pretty much any scent. I mean, floral is probably my least favorite. I've heard people talking about like that flowers in the sun or something like that and um, what else? There's a new one that's out. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not, I'm not a, big, a big Yankee person. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye!